All right, well, I'm at Bartlett Wine and Liquor, and look at these great old-fashioned, old-timey decorations. I love it. Just awesome. So, all right, they sometimes they play music, so you may not you may get a break from hearing me talk, but if not, let's get going. All right, my friends. Well, let's start this out right. Gross. That's a big gross one, and not so gross probably. So, all right, let's see what they got here. Had a little of this. Good stuff. Still got some of those. These are the two that I mix together and throw a little fireball. Or you can get this in here. I think you can probably get them in the family and do it. So that's nice. Now this is a hole in station with the new one. It's a good store pick here. I'm a big fan of this Blue Note uh, Juke Joint uh, store pick. Uh, they're done locally. Here's some more of the old Dominic. Through here. I've got this uh, Dickel 15. I talked about that yesterday. Now, I do want to say something real quick. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and want to buy a special bottle for them and then ship it to them. I get a ton of requests on that, and I have done some of it in the past, uh, hand-delivered to some people. Uh, but problem, my problem is is that um, it, it's very expensive to ship, and, it's very, and, you, and you run a giant risk when you do that that the bottle could break or that something could happen. So I just... As a general rule, I don't do it unless it's like, you know, family or or, or someone that I, I, I'm super close to that really that really needs needs something. And even then, we, we more hand deliver than we do ship. I just can't, I can't do it financially. And everybody's like, well, I'll pay you for it. Yeah, but still, if that bottle breaks, we're both out of money. And uh, I got the Blantons here. I, I don't think I've ever come here and there's not been a bottle of Blantons. So just so you know that that's, so, all right. And we got the Architect. Oh, the bottle to buy. I've seen some of this. I really want to get. I got. I got to get a pour of that. I think I like it. I can't. Who? Someone tried it last night. Maybe it was. Oh, Bourbon Hall. He had some of this. Maybe I think it was a bottle and bond. I can't remember. It was late. Buffalo Trace. The stuff that has traversed the ocean here. There's some Willet. I know some people that don't don't like and some that love Yellowstone. That rye is great. <laughs> I have I found I have some videos when I was at Woodford Reserve that I need to put up. Yeah, there's the Kentucky Owl. Never trust a bottle that needs a belt to keep its label on. Oh, they got the Christmas here. I have the other one, and I think there's another one right here. Um, I think we I think we pretty much figured out that it's all the same juice there. So got the Maker's Mark. I don't see any big dunkers. Let's see then. You gotta love the Knob Creek bottle game. There. Oh, there's a can of tin. A good bottle right there. Got the Jim Beam. Kentucky Tavern. There's my dad's juice. I bet that's a plastic bottle. That's perfect for travel. That is a gigantic bottle of Weller and a big bottle of Buffalo Trace. Those are, that man, that is a big, two big bottles. Man. Larceny's pretty big too. Alright, get over here. Now I'm gonna kind of show some of the some of what they have. I am gonna show a little bit of their prices, but um, they have the Weller 12, the full proof, the antique, they have the blood oath, they have the Blanton's Gold, straight from the barrel. I had some of the E.H. Taylor. Uh, I want this thing will open. Let me, let me open it so there's not so much of a glare. No, they got it locked. I don't blame them. I'd lock like it too. Uh, the E.H. Taylor barrel proof, the Elmer T. Lee, they have the uh, this is, I believe, I think it's the 22A stag. So, uh, got a lot of stag here, and they got this uh, the Whistle Pig Bank, and they got the, the Boss Hall. Somebody just told me, uh, a friend of mine just bought some of this. I'm curious about this uh, kosher rye. That's awesome. So, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We got the Elijah Craig 18. I had a little bit of this, it was not my favorite. I think I've had this. Did somebody send me a sample of this? Maybe. Maybe I just dreamed it. And this is a fantastic price on the Sinatra. So all right, we'll go over here and we'll take a look at like what I like to refer to as all oh, the scotch. Fantastic. Great. Maybe someday for my birthday. And 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 then the uh, 12 is is good. And we got uh, all right. That 18 is a uh, pretty good stuff right there. All right, let's see here. 
that Glendronic. Wow, 21 years. I bet that's amazing. Has anybody tried that? My brother was drinking a, a Godfather and he was drinking Monkey Shoulder. I may convert. I may convert that kid yet to be 100%. So. All right. So, let me see here. I am going to go through and look at the tequila. Man, that bottle is so pretty. Anybody have the juice and need to know it's any good or not? Cenote, I actually swam in a cenote on our honeymoon that we had to take a, couple, a year after our after our marriage because we couldn't 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 afford to go in on there. Love this Casa Amigo bottle. Come on, back up, back up, back up. Camera, there we go. And this this is another good one right here. So loving that. Really, you may not like the juice in the tequila, but I do. I kind of want to show. They have a great little kitschy area, I guess. Kitsch? Is that, is that what you would call that? Knickknack and stuff like that. But I do love the I do love the tequila bottle game. There's really really nothing better, I don't think. I don't think bourbon uh, I don't think bourbon has it matched up yet. Huh? Golden grain. Everclear. Woo. That's, that's Everclear in a plastic bottle. That's great. And someone did point out to me that this is a fireball that is aged in bourbon whiskey. So gold slogger all right I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be get I'm not gonna get too much off track here so all right let's see if we go over here and we'll, and we'll, and we'll take uh, take a, oh yeah. I'm gonna do like a wide range of what they have here they do not have a lot of, uh, of Irish whiskey here they do have that but they do have what you know but you know what I like and these gift sets. So let's see here. Alright, I got this. I, oh, I just bought one of those, which is great. I've had this and it's fantastic. Right, let's see over here. That's great. They've got Christmas decorations. Let's see if there's anything else over here. I'm getting busy, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and get out of here. I do you want to just kind of go through here? Anybody getting any of these or giving any of these for Christmas? They're fantastic. So, all right. Well, I made it short and quick. Try to keep these under 10 minutes if humanly possible. And uh, I'm going to go over here and see if I can get a better view of the uh, of what's in the cabinet. Uh, Jen, I'm lost.